This year's holiday card features a pop-up design backlit by an LED. And also it uses conductive ink, which means that no wires are used for the circuit board. I use three different types of software to create the card. First, I use Paint.net to design a card, and then Eagle PCB to create the circuit board. And then I use Silhouette Studio to determine the cut settings so the cutter could do its job. Everything was printed on a 110 pound legal size cardstock. I had to use legal size cardstock in order to allow the registration marks to fit. Registration marks are what helps the printer determine where to cut. The cardstock was then placed onto the cutting mat and then fed through the printer. The printer is printing out the outer part of the card right now. After cutting out the card, I punched out all the small pieces and then used circuit scribe to draw in the circuit. Now the cutter is printing out the inside of the card, which features the pop-up design. This goes on for around five or six minutes per sheet. Next, you have to carefully remove the card from the cutting mat and make sure nothing gets scratched or damaged. Then I glued on the greeting message that goes on the inside of the card behind the pop-up. And then I created the front using letter size 110 pound cardstock. Each of the letters in the word joy have to be carefully pasted back in. It's a very tedious process, so try not to use words that are too complicated when you're doing this design. The next step is to attach the foam glitter snowflake and super glue on the rhinestones to the front of the card. Next, I cut PVC cards, which are just standard gift cards, to create the support for the circuit board. Once the cards were cut to size, I glued them on the back of the outer card and then heat up a pin and punched it through where the electrical component should be. After that, I inserted all the electrical components, which was just a resistor and LED. Then I soldered everything in place and clipped the excess from the resistor and put a piece of masking tape over it. Next, I super glued the battery holder onto the back of the card. I inserted the batteries, made sure the card worked, removed the batteries, and inserted a battery tab. I proceeded to score all the cards so they could fold. And then prepared all the pop-up pieces by scoring them and making sure the pop-up could fold without being caught up on anything. Then I glued everything together Press it down so there would be no wrinkles, and there you go. In total, 15 cards were produced over the course of four days, and they were all mailed off before December 25th. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Make sure to check out Instructables to see how you can make your own LED pop-up card. Have a great 2016, and see you next time.